when West Edmonton Mall underwent its first expansion in 1985, it brought the first major attractions to the mall. Among these was the Ice Palace, an NHL-sized skating rink right in the middle of what was the mall's largest atrium at the time. The mall also penned a deal with the Stanley Cup champion, Edmonton Oilers. Crowds of fans gather to watch their heroes play, taking advantage of the chance to chat with their favorites or even ask for that special autograph. The team would hold regular practices through the late 1980s and early 1990s, where mall goers could come and watch their favorite players right up close. The Ice Palace rink would even become known as the official second home of the Edmonton Oilers. One of Edmonton's best ice skating surfaces is at West Edmonton Mall. The Ice Palace's climate control allows visitors to enjoy ice skating the way it was meant to be. The 1980s were really an amazing time in Edmonton. Our sports teams were the best in their leagues, and we were home to a brand new, first of its kind, Mega Ball. The concept had never even been attempted before, and yet here we were, a city of only half a million people, becoming home to the world's largest mall, indoor amusement park, and indoor water park. Add on things like submarine rides, dolphin shows, mini golf, movie theaters, over 100 places to eat, crazy themed hotel rooms, mock European and Louisiana streets, and it was just an outright roller coaster ride. Pedal to the metal, let's just go as extra as we can and see what works. I tell you, what a trip. While many of the attractions have gone, many others have stood the test of time. Like the iconic ship, which lives in the middle of Phase 3's Deep Sea Adventure Lake. And really, what better place to unveil this epic picture? The Pirates of the Colosseum. This photo portrays what I can most closely determine to be the 1986 Edmonton Oilers roster. All dressed up as pirates. All of your favorites are here. Craig McTavish, Essa Tikkanen, Jeff Bookaboom, Grant Fuhr, Paul Coffey, Kevin Lowe, Glenn Anderson, Yari Curry, and of course, Mark Messier and Wayne Gretzky. Assembled on the ship at West Edmonton Mall, the Edmonton Oilers group photo here even has a legend so you can see who is who. There's no shortage of cheese factor here either. Stuffed parrots grace the shoulders of McClelland and Sather. Kulak, Stafford, and Kulchiski raise their grog in a toast to you, the viewer. The tricorn hats are worn aplenty as well, like the one on Grant Fuhr here. And the frilly pirate clothes are worn by the entire crew of the Edmonton Oilers. You're gonna be the first pirate. <laughs> but I don't wanna be a pirate. As they pose proudly as mighty mates on their Spanish galleon. Of course, most will realize that the title of this photo refers to the home of the Edmonton Oilers from 1974 through 2016, Northland's Coliseum. Well, here we are at row 38 in the blue seats, which are the least expensive seats in the house. This is the highest point in the building. And you know, the thing that impresses me about this Coliseum is the fact that there's absolutely nothing to obstruct your vision. This is still a great seat. If this seems kind of cheesy to you, well, don't laugh. Believe it or not, this type of themed photography was quite common with sports teams in the 1980s. The Calgary Flames released a series of photos like this back in the day as well. Years ago, I had one of those too. It was titled, Beat Them in the Alley, and it featured a lot, just a lot of leather. Red hot, red hot, red hot. I think this print is far less common though. I can't find a single reference to this poster anywhere. I don't think this was nearly as widely printed as the Calgary Flames photos. And if it was, it's certainly rare to see one in this nice framed condition, which is why I'm gonna be sad to see it go. But I'm happy to do it. Myself, along with the Alberta Ghostbusters, are going to be raffling this off at the Edmonton Expo this September, with proceeds going to support the Stollery Children's Hospital Foundation. So yes, I will miss it. But at least I'll always have the memories that this poster and I have shared together.
So check the description under this video for more information. Who knows, maybe you can be the lucky owner of West Edmonton Mall's Pirates of the Coliseum. Have you ever seen this type of thing before? What do you think of it? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel, give us a like and a share, and maybe even visit our Patreon page. And why not check out one of our other videos, all about the greatest indoor show on earth, West Edmonton Mall. Oh, and thanks for watching.